Hello everyone, I'm Emma and this is Sketchy Ed where I review and discuss all things dark, creepy and disturbing. Today's video I'll be reviewing the 2020 release Unhinged which technically isn't a horror movie but it definitely falls into the dark category. Directed by Derek Bort, Unhinged was written by Carl Ellsworth whose previous works include The Last House on the Left, Red Eye and Disturbia. This action thriller follows the story of a road rage incident turned nightmare when a woman and a son are stalked and terrorized by an unstable driver. Starring Karen Pistorius as Rachel, Gabriel Bateman as her son Kyle, and of course Russell Crowe playing the man who terrorizes them, Unhinged is a wild ride, so buckle up your seatbelts kids. Sorry, I had to do it. I went into this one completely blind, avoiding all trailers and reviews. There's a couple of movies I've done this with lately which have paid off really well. I See You and Haunt, for example, where I was able to go into the movie with completely fresh eyes and no preconceived ideas of what was about to unfold. Unfortunately, there wasn't really a payoff for me in this movie and if you've watched the trailer, then you've already seen some of the major plot points of this film. I was really excited at the beginning. The opening scene had me gripped. It was dark and it was violent and it was captivating and I was 100% on board the unhinged train. However, as the film progressed, I quickly realized that this was not really my type of movie. That's not to say that there weren't good parts of this movie because there definitely was. It was fun, it did a great job at conveying the character's feelings of tension and panic, and the acting and technical aspects were also pretty good. Where it fell down for me came down to two major issues. One, the decisions made by the key characters, and two, how unrealistic parts of the plot were. Firstly, although Karen Pistorius did a great job portraying newly divorced young mother Rachel, her character's stupid decisions just left me so frustrated. Now this isn't a fault of Pistorius, but of the writing. I actually liked her character, but I just couldn't understand what would have been going through her head as she made bad decision after bad decision. The frustration I felt continued to grow throughout the movie, which just made me care less and less about the fate of her character. Since the whole setup of this kind of movie kind of relies on the viewer caring about the protagonist's outcome, I felt really disengaged when it finally came down to the film's final act. Also, I have to add that the dumb decisions weren't just limited to Rachel's character, with plenty of other facepalm moments peppered throughout the movie. <laughs> My second major gripe was with how unrealistic parts of this film were. There were major plot points which rely on the viewer just to accept certain things which didn't sit well with me. For example, there's moments when Russell Crowe's character must have been super duper swift on his feet, like <laughs> Also, this whole movie pretty much takes place in public, in well-populated spaces, in broad daylight. I just can't accept that this man could get away with the things that he does without being intercepted by police or members of the public early on. Like, are there no police anywhere? I mean, if that was the case, then we wouldn't have a movie. I understand that, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> He also must have been the luckiest man alive, with all the pieces seemingly falling neatly together into his lap. On a positive note though, Russell Crowe did play his character extremely well. He's completely apathetic, he's violent, and he'll stop at no end until he gets his vengeance. He's a man with nothing to lose and absolutely no fear of the consequences. In interviews, Russell Crowe admits to originally intending to turn down the role due to the character's lack of humanity and reasoning things that he completely nailed. After delving deeper into the character's psyche and motivations, he came around to the idea after having the realization that this type of character actually exists in the world that we live in. Now, where this may ring slightly true, I think it's a bit of a stretch to believe that someone would go to these type of lengths just to teach a random stranger a lesson in courtesy. But I guess his character is this man with nothing to lose, so, it could be possible to sink down to that level. I do understand that part of his motivation stemmed from learning details of Rachel's life, but it just didn't seem completely plausible to me. On a bit of a tangent, this film is actually one of my worst nightmares. I've been followed before by a car that I accidentally cut off and it was absolutely terrifying. That feeling when you realize that you're being followed is complete fear and dread and the lengths that you'll go just to get away from them can turn dangerous pretty quickly. 
especially if you're a young woman being chased by a man in another vehicle, it's completely terrifying and you just don't know what their motivations are. I felt some of this dread for Rachel's character in the beginning up until a certain point where I started to withdraw from the film due to her character's unrealistic decisions. Oh man, I feel so bad. I feel like I've just trashed on this movie this whole time and it honestly wasn't the worst movie. I'm just not a big fan of action movies, which didn't work in my favor. I thought it was going to be more of a thriller with some action elements, which it kind of ended up being the reverse of that. And honestly, that falls on me more than anyone. I went into this expecting one thing and was disappointed when it turned out to be something different. And honestly, I don't know what I was expecting. It's a movie about road rage and it's got Russell Crowe in it. I, I don't know. <laughs> with all that being said, if you're into films with action-packed sequences and can be forgiving on unrealistic details, then this might be a film for you. Now it's time for my final overview and score. Action-packed with great performances, Unhinged is a movie not to be taken too seriously. It's intense, it's violent, it's dark and it's gritty and above all things it showcases an excellent performance of Russell Crowe losing his shit, which we all know is completely out of character for him. <laughs> yep. All in all, if you're after a surface level action thriller, this may be a fun one you'll really enjoy. However, if you're looking for a film with a little more depth, then maybe skip this one. I give this a score of 5 out of 10. Ah, uh, I feel so mean. But personally, I just felt like this was an average movie. It wasn't super bad, but it wasn't great. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed my review and I hope I wasn't too harsh. This is my first kind of negative-ish review and it doesn't feel good to rip on something that you know that people have put hard work into. It doesn't feel natural for me. <laughs> but not everyone is going to love everything and I've just got to be honest. So what did you guys think? Have you seen Unhinged yet? If you have, let me know in the comments below what you thought about the movie. It's always interesting to see other people's opinions on these kind of things. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.